Alright, first we're going to try um, prepare the geometry that we're going to use to drive the eyelashes. So um, right now Auditor Phase have very minimum uh, tools for geometry manipulation so I'm going to use Maya instead to prepare my mesh. I'm going to first use Omnifers uh, connector to open the USD so I'm going to open my uh, there's this one, the A2F mesh of Camilla here. All right, and I should be able to find this mesh there. All right, and what we're, what I'm going, I'm trying to do here is that I'm going to extract the 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 section of the eyelid where it's kind of like where the eyelashes. I sort of intend to be attached to um, and I'm going to basically use the skin to drive this uh, section of mesh and this section of mesh is the one that is driving the eyelashes so um, of course these are triangle meshes and it makes it a bit harder to select the mesh um, so let me just take this out of the hierarchy and hopefully that's the other thing is let me make sure there is no skin cluster being applied here and I'm going to try take this mesh out of the hier out of the hierarchy the shift P there and I can most likely just delete the rest right so yeah so um, to select this the strip of polygon um, that I'm going to do there I think I found a trick here if I just right click and switch to face and I basically um, just select this polygons there and then I grow selection notice that I can um, pretty much grow them um, until I selected this strip here right so that is kind of like great I can possibly just undo one so I get just the just the, the the inner side here so this um, I assume is where I want the the eyelashes to be attached to um, you know what maybe just one more okay I'll just include there um, no big deal and actually um, I also need to do it on the other side so uh, let's redo that I think F9 is to is it to paint nope not that one F8. So I'll switch the face again. I'm going to try uh, use paint selection here, and I'm going to oh, brush too big. All right. So I'll then I hold shift. All right. I've got those. Scroll selection. Okay. So I got selection of from both eyelids there. That is great. I'm going to then uh, just use regular. Uh, selection and I'm going up oh. uh, where is this S uh, yeah anyway selection tool here and I'm going to I believe control is it to flip no uh, sorry uh, I, I always get that mixed up so now I can reverse the selection and what I got is the rest of the face and I'm going to delete that and left me with just the inner eye there and I'm going to repeat my sort of my selection trick like before I'm going to use paint selection again oh sorry I'm going to paint selection here I'm going to do that and paint do that and grow do, 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 do. okay I think that's where it covers the eyelash and I'm going to delete. So what I am ended up with here is um, it's a strip of polygon and this would be where I want the eyelash to sort of be driven by and and I'm happy with this mesh here I'm going to save it and uh, so well I'm going to freeze it first edit delete by type history okay and I'm going to export this mesh out so I'm going to um, uh, Omniverse export. Hopefully, a uh, Windows job there. 
and I'm going to export it to the same folder as my A2F mesh just so that I can see them later on and I'm going to call this Camilla uh, eye water it's not the real eye water geometry but it's close enough to where the eye water or the eyelid eyelash attachment will be so I'll just call it eye water and uh, let's see if there's any option to make sure it's prop export selected import USD that those are uh, fine and make sure it is the same as the the, the other file which is we're using zapp and that's it just export all right so let's go back to audio to face and we can confirm if our mesh is exported properly so if i try to now uh, bring in the eye water there that um, it's okay if it looks offset it here because again our character here has the has the scale uh, being let me see if I can hide this one okay and I'm going to bring Camilla this one back to zero okay and you see that our eye water mesh it is here it is has no transform it's made is at the origin um, no no random offset value being applied there and our mesh is matching exactly where the we sort of want the eyelashes to be right so so that's great and that's one of the mesh that we are we done with so so good next one is we're going to try uh, extract the eyeball so so actually we're not done with the eyelashes yet <laughs> sorry about that um, so if we go to now uh, okay we don't need the eye and I don't need that I'm going to show again the Camilla full body now we're going to try extract the eyelashes out of this mesh um, the first thing to do with this uh, mesh is that we're going to uh, try uh, stamp it um, so I forgot actually if you know if I just run a mesh operate immediately if it's gonna keep the original or not I want to keep the original because I don't want to touch it so I'm going to stamp this just in case um, so I'll go built in mesh I'm going to stamp mesh so I got a duplicate of this mesh now I can hide this oops uh, it's just in this hierarchy right now I'm going to move it to the world and I'm going to yeah so that one is hidden and you'll see that this is basically this is the mesh that we are uh, we have this is the uh, the bind post of the mesh that's used um, because when we are using toolbox built-in mesh to stamp a mesh is stamping just the default points or the bind post of those points of the mesh and this is what we get right so this is what we want um, because we want to deform from this forward so later on when the when the joints take over it still starts from here and the joints do the rest um, so we got the eye water next is that we need to get the eyelashes out and this character if you look here has a bunch of geom subset so um, we have a tool to separate and luckily we have the eyelash here as the geometry subset so we have a tool that we can separate meshes by their geometry subset luckily and we're going to do that so then hopefully we get the eyelash that's right so mesh uh, there is the usual mesh separate there is also mesh extract by subsets so we do that and what we got is that a bunch of yeah I shouldn't need to <laughs> I shouldn't need to make a stamp of it because it keeps the original and do the rest but yeah what we got here is that a bunch of uh, meshes now separated by their um, by their original subsets here and what we're interested in is the eyelashes here so I'm going to delete the rest there and just keep the eyelashes right so I'm going to call this uh, eyelashes good yeah so we're we are done with the eyelashes next we move on to the eyeballs 
and for eyeballs this is probably a bit of a bit more uh, work here if I look at the eyeball um, again if if any of the steps um, for example for your character if your character turns out don't have eyelashes then you don't have to worry about that um, if you don't want a to F to drive the eyeballs of the character uh, because A to F do introduce the eye darting. If you don't want that, then you also can ignore uh, this section. Um, so we just focus on the on the skin, for example. Um, so yeah, so eyeball is very similar case. We do have subsets, but the subsets right now is is actually the eyeball has two geometry. Um, there is the cornea and there is the uh, there is the left and right eye and for to be honest for well let's just uh, extract them out first so I'm going to now that I know I don't need to stamp it I just go directly to mesh extract uh, mesh extract by subsets which will keep the original and now I have these four meshes by the subsets here I'm going to bring them up there and maybe hide the there right so this is the eyeball and if we look at it closer notice that um, there is the cornea that makes this whole thing a bit more shiny um, and there is the uh, the IR here that basically uh, not really do anything <laughs> Right, so so there is a there is the mesh there, and we pretty much can ignore the IR and just left with the cornea left and cornea right. Right, so that's the important thing to see here, and the reason we don't have we don't need the full mesh, uh, we can, um, but we don't need them, um, is because we're going to later drive the eye the original eyeball with the uh, uh, with proximity uh, proximity means that if the other eyeball geometry is pretty close like almost the same like this one we'll just drive it and and it will be driven the same way it will not touch the other eyeball so um, using one um, in this case just the cornea because it's shinier <laughs> is enough so I'm going to delete this too Right, so we got the CC base I standard cornea. Um, it's probably too long, so I'm just going to name it I R and I, just to hopefully make it simpler. All right, so um, there we go. I think these are all the extra mesh preparations that we need to do. Um, first, we need the eye water. Um, that has to be done uh, from other DCC at the moment just to extract this poly strip out. Um, the next is that we need the eyeball which we sort of extract out and we also need the eyelashes, the extra eyelashes that um, again we also be able to separate using the uh, mesh uh, extract by subset here. So I'm going to just save this out I can pretty much delete the rest of this hopefully I don't offer kill and do too many mesh oh there's there yeah oh my light seems to be accidentally get deleted as well yeah so there we go let's see yeah so yeah so so basically this mesh now again I don't need the light um, I'm going to save this file and does it include oh, okay there is tons of other material that in theory we don't need um, we can delete them um, if we want um, but for the sake of no I'll keep the eye because I forgot um, if if they're being used at all and then there is the what else? The there is the eyelash material that's also we need. We can delete the rest, and it should be good. So this file now, even though it's it's dark, because I don't want 
I don't need the lights. Um, what distant light? It's no harm to just keep the light there. We can always hide it in our in the other um app later. Oh, this is confusing. Yeah. So yeah. So this is the this is the eyeball um and eyelashes that we're going to save. I'm going to save this file. Save as. Going to uh, let me see here. I'm going to save this under my um, where's Camilla two um, A to F folder, and I'm going to uh, call this. I don't know eyeballs, eyeballs and eye. Oh, just eyes then. Okay, Camilla eyes. Yeah. So these are all the all the all the uh, meshes that we have to deal with, uh, prepare, and we can start the setup now.